everyone welcome back to Amore Fabrics it is daily deal time guys I haven't had a daily deal in quite some time and usually when I have a daily deal it's pretty good deal guys and they usually sell out fast so um, if you're new here hi hello I hope you like thumbs up subscribe I hope you enjoy this channel um, I try to present to you guys as much as I can cool crafty products that it's hard to find um, to help you with your crafty projects um, I hope that was helpful in some way but um, as you guys can see here, this daily deal is only $10. And you're going to be like, what? Yes. So I had an overflow of the vintage children's pages since leftover from the kits I made just recently for you guys. And so what I did is um, I did a 100 plus page pack of vintage children's pages. And then you guys get to choose your book cover. Yes, $10. All the book covers I'm showing you today are up for grabs. You go to the listing link, which is down below for you guys. You click on that listing link. Um, takes you directly to the listing that you see here um, and it'll have a drop down menu um, for all the books that you see and what you see is what you will get kind of thing when it comes to the books the vintage children's pages are all different the one thing each pack will have each pack will have one of the vintage hummel type of postcard that is unused um, that we uh, ran down but if there's a certain one you like i do sell them in a shop sets of four i think um, they'll be like the same thing the umbrella child what have you but um, they'll be all different. So, like I said, what you see is what you get when you pick out your book cover. A lot of them are hardback, some are softback. Originally, when I did the kit that I just recently did for the children's packs, was these book covers were going to be in it. But as you, those who've been following along, I was able to give you guys a full, complete vintage first or second or third edition uh, um, golden book, and you guys got to choose, which that was such a, an amazing bonus, right? But for $10, guys, I'm really spoiling you. Total talk about filling your stock. This is the time to do it. 10 bucks. I mean, come on now. It ships out media mail. Um, and if you buy more, obviously, you, you're pretty much going to save. Spend $35, you get free shipping. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, you can't beat that. So, okay, I'm going to go over the, uh, the book pages to kind of give you an idea. If you're new here and you're not sure what vintage children's book pages look like, like I said, it's a hundred pack. It's it's filled. I mean, look at it. It is a ton of papers. To give you an idea, I'll just show you really quick. But I really wanted to show you guys the book covers. I had a lot of leftover Dick and Jane, the vintage children uh, type pages here, the music book pages. They're all gorgeous, guys. I mean, you can't. I mean, you can't go wrong. Here's another music page. They're also filled randomly with so many different things. For those who joined me the live the other day. Um, I showed you some of the books that I got um, recently. And so some of the book covers you see here are part of that as well. But you can't go wrong. You got uh, children's kids uh, uh, work papers as well. You can see here, like school papers. I do have some Disney. I do have some um, Christmas in there as well. I had some leftover Christmas for you guys. Look at how cute is that. Oops, sorry. Look how cute that is. I'm like, not even a frame. I'm so excited. Here's some Christmas. Too precious, right? Yeah, so we got Raggedy Ann. I mean, there's so many. They're all full pages. None of them are ripped. Um, there's just so many. So now you guys kind of got the drift. It's 100 plus pages. It's, I mean, at least this pack is probably be more than a pound, including the book covers, guys. So there's that, but the book covers that are available, here we go, guys. You ready for the show down here? <laughs> um, there might be two listing links down there because I know Etsy will only let me do only so many uh, options. So I think they let me do up to 60 book covers, but look how cute that is, guys. Come on now. Too precious. The inside here um, is, vintage, is like elves. Can you guys see that? Cute little elves everywhere. It's beautiful, in beautiful condition. So that's available to somebody. And then I had a bunch of these. I always wanna call them Bopsy Twins or what have you, but the condition of the book's awesome. It's by the stories for bedtime by Enid Blyton. I'm not sure, Enid Blyton, I'm not familiar, but totally retro, totally vintage. There's that one. I'm not gonna read them all. I'm just gonna let you guys see. I hope you guys are doing well today. Here's this one. Some of them I left pages. Like if there's one extra page, I just left it in there. We got Hansel and Gretel. I left you here some pages in there for you guys. Like the first one. 
Here's this one singing every day. This came from some of the music. It has like the library thing on the inside. Some pages in there. We got Noel. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure what the inside. Oh, look at cool. Whoever gets this one gets like one of those stamp library type things. Fairy tale grins, guys. I mean, that was a, this is a cool one. And I feel like I have a bunch of papers in here. I do. Look at, look at there. Someone whoever gets this book has this page in there. How cool is that, right? So there's leftover pages in here for whomever. I mean, come on now, you can't beat that, guys. Ten bucks. Run on over there, grab them while you can. This is the the music one. That's Horizon. That's really cool. It's really colorful. Here's the little cat that could not sleep. Oh yes, I forgot about this one. This one also has not only the library card in it, the stamp one, but it has the library holder where you put the library card in it. See that? Whoever gets that, that's like a Come on, guys, 10 bucks for all those papers, and you get that cool stuff. We got the Dick and Jane going on here. These are the softbacks. Looks like here I left some paper in there for you. Same thing. These are the oldies. More about numbers this is a hardback. Looks like somebody made a, like a library card thing in there. Here's the back. Teeny tiny tail. That's a book cover in there. Gosh, guys, we have so many more coming along here. <laughs> Literally, I got a bin here. So at least I can show you the inside. So for those who are watching, you can kind of have an idea. There's another one of the like the Dick and Jane types. Soft back. Can't go wrong, guys. Beautiful covers. Sorry for my lighting again. For the, I'm sure this is like my second or third video where my lighting's kind of off. I'm still, I changed my lighting system. Um, and my uh, where I do my camera and stuff so I'm trying to get used to and learning the lighting guys so I do apologize if it looks pretty off this one's so cute by the way look at the back of that one again guys 10 bucks for the 100 pages look at the inside of him look at the outer too cute time for music another one of those music books again there's music pages left in here some uh, pages from the music book. So they cut the original in case you can use it for something. This one's learning all about sizes. Somebody decided to use crayon on that one, but hey, some people like a crayon look. This one is Everyday Things. This is a cool book. Look at the inside. Again, guys, sorry about the lighting. Move that one forward. All kinds of signs. The inside. Um, this one here is the Read It Yourself storybook. And again, I have pages left inside. Okay. For whomever wants it. That's the inside cover. It's the back with the mouse in the shoe. Too cute. All right, let me get the other one. Guys, there's so many. Uh, and this is just one bin of books covers. This one is the me book. So cute, isn't it? This is the inside. And they're perfect size. This is the book of games. This was cute. Uh, there's the inside. That was a really good one pages. Uh, the children's classics, which I see we have some pages left inside here. A lot of pages. I left a lot of it pieces for however you're going to do your cover. We got the pokey little puppy Christmas. The inside's cute too. I've got, look at, I think, oh look at, I didn't even rip the pages out of this one yet. Oh lord. I guess I'll take him out. Look at there. What I'll do is, I'll leave this for whomever gets this book here. You get to keep that. And you get to keep this. And the rest I use for pages for everyone else. But hey, pokey little puppy, somebody's going to get a good deal. I forgot, I must not have taken the treasury of little color books. Look at the inside of this guy. Don't want to decide to write on that side, but it's so pretty on the other. You know what this would be good for? Not necessarily a journal. I've seen people where they did folders, where they open up the folder and they put the file stuff in here. The large folder files. That would be so cool. Ton of Curious Georges, guys. Perfect size for journals. Um, and they're all, look at the insides are perfect. 
the spines were all intact on this. These would be cute little one signatures. Don't you think? Mm, I should have thought of that one. I mean, the spines were all beautiful for the Curious George. Just beautiful. Somebody could probably do a kit of their own of Curious George, you know, but look at all those Curious Georges. I have so many of them. Okay, it's 10 bucks. All the children's pages, all these Curious George books. All right, then we get a school kids textbooks. The old textbooks. You guys remember those? Here's the troll one. So grungy. So cool though, right? What's this one here? Is the apricot ABC. I love how it's got like the bugs and the mushrooms. This is the dictionary one. Oh my gosh, there's some pages left in here too. The giant dictionary pages for children. It's like large print. So cute. Um, I left a page in there. We got some glueish type things going on, but hey, it's a nice, pa nice book. Birds. Again, this would be another large book that'd be great as a folder file for what you guys do. I've seen people do pages and it's like a folder file for what they do. Cool, right? Hans Christian Andersen. Of course, there's pages on the inside of this guy too. Someone paid two six nine oh oh. I'm not sure what that is. I hope that's on two hundred sixty nine dollars. And I ripped that thing up. Anyways, Charlie Brown Christmas. Sorry, Charlie Brown Dictionary. Sorry. And it looks like I left pages in here as well for you. There's the front. There's the back. Peter Pan. You guys know Peter Pan is the vintage guy. We got, again, another nice cool folder file, guys. You can mess with it yourself, fix it, um, but a really nice one. All right, we got some paperback ones here, but they're too cute. These, this was a vintage Little Ruddy Riding Hood uh, coloring book, I think. Yeah, it was so cool. But if you line it, you got yourself a really cool book. Same thing here. We got the Treasury of Animals. I see some pages in this one as well. Don't worry, I got more books, guys, coming up here. Let me get this bigger hardback. We have the giant, another one. Um, my head uh, says here my performance issues. Of course, probably the coloring and the lighting again. There you go. These are big, but awesome books for um, files, right? And this one's a nice bold green. Here's the bold yellow one. This came from a lot of the music pages that if you follow me on live you'll see sorry guys lighting's gonna be nutsos today again i'll have to work on it again just beautiful nice good books covers um and then a dictionary picture dictionary that i use which i love the rough edges of it he's gonna be cool so cool for somebody oh uh, the soft back ones here's another curious george we got Captain Kangaroo. He's pretty much still intact. No writing on the inside, which is cool. I thought this would be cool if this was a front of a journal. You know? Don't you think? And now would be the back. I've always thought it would be cool. The opposite. I've, I've not seen anyone do it that way. This is this little book belongs to kind of thing. So there's Captain Kangaroo. And I absolutely love how it's got all the cute little books on the back cover. It's too cute. This is a cute one. Uh, here's an old dictionary um, cover. And there's some pages inside there. And then there's these two here. Here's the songbook, the Weaver's songbook. These are both soft cover. Um, let me go ahead and go grab the other books, guys. There's so many more. Hang on one second. Okay, here's more I got coming. Also, those one books that I have, I have the dust jackets, which I'm putting um, as a cover in the kit. So when you see the listing, it'll say DS for dust jacket, um, H, um, C for hard cover. But um, I put that in so whomever gets that will get that. So you might want that book, but you didn't get the hardcover one. At least you got the dust jacket. So those would be in it. Here's the other one. All right, guys. So this one I haven't ripped yet, but it's the next one up. But look at the front of that. Isn't it cool? So rustic looking. I still got to take out the pages. But isn't she cute? I just love all the pages for the children's pages. Did you see those mushrooms? Yeah, how cool is that? Yeah, all right, so that one's gonna be up for grabs. These will probably be in the second listing that I said down below. Um, here is the Tommy Visit the Doctor. This one doesn't have a spine. 
But again, this could probably be the back cover if you turn it. You know what I mean? Here's this one here. It's a soft cover. This was the Spanish um, like kids book. And I left the pages, some pages in there. Here's the back. Really cool. This one here is the soft back one. I told you guys, I, if you followed my, you were on my live, you'd know it's beautiful pages. We got Peter Pan and Wendy. What do we got here? All right. We got this one here. Looks like, okay, so looks like this cover was damaged. So I added an extra one in there for this one here. This is the Please Man one, the little little, little fat Please Man, which uh, I'm not sure if somebody's going to like that verbiage, but hey. There's this one. This one's got some writing, but again, like I said, I mean, you could probably mix it up or just have the chipboard for, I mean, look at the back though. I mean, this one has a little writing, but you might be able to do something, right, with over it, you know. Same thing with the bunny one, but the cool thing about the bunny one is the insides. Look at that green. But you, again, you might be able to put something there, like another bunny, um, layered something. Same thing with the jungle one, but, you know, there's the backing of that one somewhere. Same thing here. Look at this one. Here's the front. Here's the uh, the front, sorry, and that's, these are the back. But I can see how this can be the front, and that could be the back. You know what I mean? That's why I did it this way to show you. But it's going to show up like this. I guess I can make the picture and the listing like this. Sorry. For you guys. I think that would be just totally gorgeous, don't you think? And then we have poetry. Of course, someone damaged the front of it, but you guys can be able to do your magic. You know? Ten bucks. You can't beat it. This is really cool. Especially the inside. Here's this one here. Again, this would be a nice folder file. Too cute. Peter Pan. This is an oldie Peter Pan. Look at the inside of that one. That's the inside cover. Again, maybe this could be the front of your book. Or maybe this could be the front of your book and you can do your own bedazzling. This would be another file folder. One that's really cool, I think. This one here, fairies. It was cute. This is the end of the pile, as you guys can see. This would be another good file folder one. Peter Rabbit. My favorite book. As you guys can see, I'm getting towards the end. These are like the leftovers. There's another one, the Dick and James, but there is some little damage right there. Either way, this one's cool. It's got some pages in here. There's another Dick and Jane. It was kind of like really worn, but it has this really cute stuff inside. Who knows? Maybe you guys can fix it by lining it and then adding your own little something. This is so cool. This one I still got to rip. There we go. Might as well take it out. All right, that's my pages. This one is the dictionary pages that had the picture dictionary is in it. It was really cool. Um, it was a really nice one. So there's that one. This is a pretty good size one. Another one that it could be either a large book or like I said, folder file book. Butterflies is soft back. All right, guys, this owl one's really cool. It's hard back. Totally fallish. This one's cool. Rhythm and dance. This was a children's uh, music book. I have no music on the inside. But it's like this cute dusty green really cool and a really large book covered with backyard yard backyard birds um, again a cool folder file nice and big i've seen so many cool things people make all right guys there's that i hope you guys absolutely love this ten dollar daily deal run over there while you can as i make you dizzy piling these guys back up <laughs> you guys have a good one all right bye guys